Okay, today we're going to look at gravity and jumping in Scratch. So let's set up our sprites. I'm going to get rid of the cat sprite and I'm going to choose the dinosaur sprite as our character for jumping and just set the size to 50%. And then I'm going to draw a sprite that will represent the ground. So let's get a kind of green color. I'll go with a different green than the dinosaur, no outline. And let's draw a box and drag it just so that it covers from left to right. Okay, so a couple of things just to kind of set up. We are going to set our, as we can see, the ground is appearing above the dinosaur sprite so we actually want the dinosaur to appear first so we're going to add a when green flag clicked and is it in looks for the dinosaur we want to go to the front layer so let's just click green flag there we go front layer oh i want to rename my sprite to ground just so it makes more sense when we're using it in the blocks and also we want our dinosaur just to maybe start up in the air and we'll get our dinosaur to fall down. So let's drag our dinosaur to where we want, go into motion and get the go to XY. They're already pre-populated with where our dinosaur is. So let's just test that. It goes up to the top. Okay, so the way we're going to make the, the gravity work is we're going to create a gravity variable. And we're going to use the change y by block to pull the dinosaur down. So let's go ahead and create our variable. So let's call it gravity. And what we're going to do is forever, if the dinosaur is not touching our ground sprite, then we are going to change y by the value that's in our gravity variable and then change our gravity variable by minus one. So let's click on the green flag and test it. And as you can see, our dinosaur starts up at the top and then falls down. Now, as we can see, our, our gravity variable is getting lower and lower and lower. So what, and that will make the dinosaur fall faster and faster and faster. So just at the start, we'll set gravity to zero. There we go. And it should be consistent each time. Okay, the next thing we want to do then is to program our jump. So I'll move this block of code to the left. So we have a bit of space. We're going to go into the events and get another when green flag clicked. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to test to see if the when we press the space key will make the dinosaur jump. But the dinosaur should only be able to jump if the dinosaur is touching the ground. So we'll need to test that the dinosaur is touching the ground as well. And this if is going to go into a forever block. So it's forever checking if these two conditions are, are true. So let's get an if then, put it inside. Now, as there's two conditions, we're going to get an and block. We'll put it inside. So if condition one and condition two then. And into our sensing blocks to get what we're going to test. So we're going to program the space key to make our dinosaur jump. And we want to make sure that the dinosaur is touching the ground because you can only jump when you're physically touching the ground. Okay, so to make the dinosaur jump, we're going to change the gravity variable to, we're going to set it to 10. And then we're going to go into the motion toolbox and make the dinosaur move up by changing y by 10. So let's click on our green flag and each time I press the, key, the space key you can see the dinosaur goes up. If you look at gravity it starts off at minus 12, it gets set to 10 here and the dinosaur change y by 10 moves it up but then the dinosaur is up in the air so it gets into this code here if not touching ground change y by gravity and gravity 
the variable is is set to minus one each time, so it sets to ten. Nine eight seven six five four three two one, and brings it back down. And just to add a bit more functionality to this demo, we're going to program our left and right arrow keys to make the dinosaur move left and right. And we can see that even when the dinosaur is in the air, we can get, get the dinosaur to move around. So again, we're going to get another when green flag clicked. We're going to get a forever block because we want to forever test if the left arrow key is being pressed. And if it is, we want to point the dinosaur to the left. So we'll get a point in direction and point it to the left. And then we'll make the dinosaur just move 10 steps. So it'll point to the left and, and move 10 steps. And we are just going to duplicate that if then to save us some time, change it to right arrow, point in direction to the right and move 10 steps is the same. So let's try this out. So when the dinosaur jumps, he goes left and right. But actually, you can see here, when I move the dinosaur to the left, it actually flips the costume upside down. So we can change that by, I think it's in motion. Yes, there's a set rotation style. And what we want to do is we'll put that underneath the green flag. So at the start, we're going to set the rotation style of this sprite to left and right. That means it won't flip it like that. So there we go, we're jumping around and moving left and right at the same time. And um, just to make things a little bit better, we can maybe change the costume of the dinosaur. So let's see when the dinosaur is up in the air. Make it go to that costume and now we'll need to set when it's back down on the ground. Get another if then if touching ground and we'll set it back to the original costume. So there we go. Dinosaur moving left and right, jumping and changing costume. So that's gravity and jumping in Scratch. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to get our weekly coding projects, make sure to click on subscribe. And if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see us make next, just comment in the video below.